Hi guys, I'm going to open this Brewdog Black Heart Draft Stout. Looks similar to Guinness. And it's another one of these cans that got some sort of widget inside it. So that you just pour it all in one go. You just open it and pour it. And we get a head form on the point uh, as it pours. You don't have to tilt the glass or anything clever. So, got my wireless microphone here, which I hope we can still hear me talking on. I should put that next to it just so we can hear it pouring or possibly hear it pouring. And we'll do it. And then I'll take the tin apart and have a look at the widget. We should be able to just open it and <laughs> get my fingers in there. So it doesn't all suddenly shoot out the top. And you do just pour it straight in. And it creates a head. So we will cut the tin open or the can open and see what sort of widgets inside. Obviously, I'm doing this purely as a scientific value, nothing to do with drinking it. And I'm not sponsored by them either. Right, we'll see if we can cut it open. Okay, and there's our widget. I can't remember if the um, Guinness one still has the ball with a hole in it. It's literally a plastic ball with a hole in the middle of it. And that created the conditions for the um, bubbles or foam to form. Whereas this is a plastic one. How is that held in place? And can I get it off without cutting my fingers? That doesn't want to come off easily. Nope, looks like I'm going to destroy it, just trying to get it off. Still, if you choose to copy me, you won't have to make the same mistakes, will you? You've seen me fail. <laughs> that doesn't want to come off. Whatever they've used to 
glue it in place, as far as I can tell. It's doing a really good job. So that is not going to come off. We've clearly got a small hole in the top there. Might have to go close up so you can see it. And then you've got this slot, and I think we've got a hole at the bottom. All right. There's a little hole in the top there. And as I say, it looks like we've got this slot going down, and I think there's a hole there. I think I'm going to have to cut it so we can see. because it doesn't want to come off easily. If I cut it right in the middle, I suspect it's hollow and there's nothing else in it. And there we are. So it's just that hole at the, in the top of that. This is all. You go. Yeah. So there's a small hole in there. Uh, I don't happen to have a convenient pin to actually push through it, but I can see there is a hole there. Let's see if we can get close up again. Well, we can cut this piece right off now. So, look at that bit first. Just see there is a hole right through there. Let's see, slot down the side. And in the bottom of that, yeah, we can just see the hole in the bottom of that too. So somehow or other, that allows the bubbles to form. in a way that um, creates the head without all the bubbles forcing the liquid straight out of the can when you open it. I have seen it explained somewhere how it works. If I can find a link, I'll put it in the video description. But I have got to say, the bit that really fascinates me is how well that plastic is sealed onto that metal. That does not want to come off. I wish my super glue was that good. Because whatever they've used, it works really well. So I haven't actually taken a Guinness can apart lately. But it used to have, as I say, it used to have a little ball in it, rather like the ball that you find on those roll-on deodorants, similar size, with a little dimple in it and a hole in it. And somehow that made the bubbles form. Anyway, there you go. That's what's inside a brew dog black heart draft stout. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us a comment so we know how we're doing.